Well, I guess life kind of just kicks you right in the nuts every once in a while. So I just filmed the whole video on wrapping this handle with bicycle wrap. It's my first time ever doing it. And it turned out way better than I was expecting it to. And I didn't turn my microphone on. How about them apples? So I got like a 20 minute video of nothingness. But I'll throw some clips of that up in this video and I'll probably just do like a voiceover to let you know what I'm doing. But we did get to wrap on. It was my first time doing it. I think your wrap went great. It looks great. It feels great. Um, to let everybody know, if you do order two rolls of it, one roll did this whole handle, and I still got a little bit left, and a whole nother set. So if this ever wears off, you can do it again. Um, the black sheath that was on this handle, it was very, very thin, like almost crazy, ridiculous thin how thin it was. It's almost like paper, but this feels really good. I really like this now. This feels awesome. I really like it. Yeah, I don't like your little tape concept right there, but I guess I could always go back with some tie wire and then put a piece of tape around that. But for now, this will work. I like it. Bring y'all in. Take a closer look. Oh, there she is. I went with like... There's not many versions of the orange that I like. But I wanted orange. And good luck finding gray. So I went with kind of a orange black kind of beehive pattern I think she turned out all right saw's running great I'm loving the way it's running I'm thinking we're just gonna keep it like it is for saw fest I got a couple little things that we ordered for it as you know like carburetor I just got on Pharmatech's website and ordered one of their OEM Walbro carburetors. I'm waiting for that to come in. We're going to stick that on here. Try it and see how that works. See if that lets us open the high side up a little bit and get away from having a high jet all the way closed in. It's just something about that I do not like for some reason. It's still four-stroking like crazy, though. Can't tune it out. So, I got an OEM carb here on my other 372. But I do not want to take that off. Oh. And another thing. We're trying a different muffler out. So this muffler is, right now, it's just a single one inch outlet. Um, we're going to try this and run it and see how it differs from this style of dual port. It's just got a... hole on one side with a deflector over it it sounds good makes good power it works 
But I'm going to try this with the one inch pipe. I actually took this one inch pipe and hit the wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. So, I actually took the one inch pipe and it sticks inside probably about an inch. And then it's cut on a real sharp bevel. And the big cut of that bevel is kind of facing the exhaust port. So it's something that I thought of in my head. Trying. I want to try it. So we're going to give it a whirl. I'm going to run it like this. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and pop another one inch deflector here and shoot it out kind of the same way give us a dual one inch and i think she will be on point and ready i think i am gonna try a oem coil in this all i don't have an unlimited coil right now OEM I do have the blue 14 one limited blue one out of the 346 my unlimited coil is actually in the 346 but I don't see this thing running over 14 one anyway so I'm thinking about putting the OEM coil on and trying that and see how it runs just to see if there's any difference within the timing between the aftermarket and the OEM coils. But other than that, man, this thing is running great. Um, it really surprised me how much power this thing has. We do have a couple upcoming projects. I've actually been speaking with Corey, the guy we done the 034, I think it was, oh, yeah, 034 for. And we actually have a 028 Wood Boss here. He wants to get going and he wants to get that ported up and running nice. So we're definitely going to go ahead and hop on that here pretty soon. We got the carb in for the John Cutter. That is here. I figured out this carb is pretty much a clone of the HDA. I think it was 87. I have to look back at mine and Kevin's Facebook post. But pretty much that you can take this carb, take the Poland HDA 164, 137, or the 49 fuel pump cover plate off that's got the impulse nipple on it you can just take this one off set that one on and this thing bolts straight up to a pole in 330 3450 3500 365 all those good things so that is awesome to know and it runs great on 330 i already tried to run it on 330 and it does really 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 good it's a tick rich because it does have that enrichment jet circuit in it. But you can always plug that off. So. The Venturi on this one. Is like 15.2. 15.8 millimeter. 15.08 millimeters. Where the 164. And 137. Are like 16.61. And 16.66. So you lose a little bit of interior size, but honestly, I think that will speed up your velocity going in the saw. So I don't think you'd lose much off of that one millimeter. What is that, like 30 thou, 37, 38 thou, something like that. But all in all, we're going to go ahead and probably do a little bit of work to this carb. That way we can stick it on the John Cutter and see if this one does any better.
I think Smitty and Muffler has done bought me to the dark side. I gotta get me another jug to put that in. But I did come across five gallons of M1 VP methanol. Not gas. So, like I said, I'll either blow something up, blow myself up, or we'll figure the thing out, one of the two. But from what I understand, you don't want to leave it in a clear jug, don't want the sun to hit it because it breaks it down. It's alcohol, so it does love to attract water. So we're probably going to buy a different jug to put that in. Get a couple more jugs that way we can just get us a little bit out at a time what we need. Yeah, so you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this silent video that I made for you. And yeah, come back and see us next time on Dub Sauce Shop. Y'all have a great day, Dubs. We out.